So in your own words, uh, Mr. Jordi, you sat through the two hour session. Uh, can you tell us your personal reflection on what you heard and experienced? Of course. Um, I've taken, you know, similar, not, not quite exactly like this type of a, a workshop, but similar workshops in that, you know, there, when it comes to the work environment and how you treat people and, you know, your thought process, but this was completely different. This was actually getting to understand your own mind, mm -hmm. your own individual mind. And in our, you know, in the world itself, but in our work community, it's all about being productive and getting work done and moving, moving, moving. And a lot of us, and I think I shared this with you and I shared with you about our two fit. Yes. Our two fit, a lot of... Um, Which most, is an acronym for your culture here. Uh -huh, teamwork, open communication, fun, integrity, and trust. We built that probably 2014, 2015. And we tend to follow leaders, right? Our leader is Darren. And the, the thing that he has that, that I admire one of the most is he loves his people. Mm -hmm. He has a great work ethic. And he is very productive work-wise. Mm -hmm. He cares about his people, right? And that's the people that make it here and work here are people that have that same work ethic. But with that, you're very driven. Yeah. And so we're always moving, always on the go. And what I liked about this is it was so, it was a group setting, but it was so individual. Mm -hmm. It was between you or me and my mind. Yeah. You know, nobody else really. It wasn't like uh, it was about your neighbor or about your team. No, it was about you and your mind. That was empowering to me. Yeah. That was really yes. empowering. <clears throat> so, um, and thanks for also sharing that, you know, uh, this was different in many ways from mm. all the other training sessions yes. because it's just you and your own It's not experience. sustainable. Yeah. I think those other training sessions they're not as sustainable, sustainable, sustainable because it's it it's not internal. Mm. You know, this is more internal and what's going on. Nobody, we don't want to stop our thoughts because we're so used to that rat race. Yes. But you encouraged us to take those few exercises we did is to be okay in your thoughts and not to jump from one thought to the next thought to the next thought, because that's always, like I shared with you earlier, that has been going through a, a time of anxiety, anxiety that I've never experienced in my life before. It increased my thought speed, and I needed to find a way to slow down my thoughts. And I just did it on my own to where I just told myself those thoughts aren't real. Mm -hmm. And that's really what you were saying. Those 49,000 thoughts, they're fake, they're not real. Yes. And so the exercise that you gave us is going to be so awesome for me because now I could just say next. Yes. If I'm getting, if my thought is on this, I think of a, a hamster wheel, you know, this thought, 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 next thought, next thought, it's like next. Yes. And I'm not stuck on that space. So it's just going to give me some a little bit more tangible skill set yeah. to be able to work through those. So yeah. I thought it was amazing. So yeah. thank you. Based on what we just heard, um, you know, if, if this were to be embraced by everyone, how do you think it will, you know, change how people you know, live their daily lives and engage with their own thoughts and then the effect of that on the culture? Well, like Darren said, and I think you and I spoke about this, this is a culture, it doesn't just happen. A, you have to nur it's like a relationship it's like a relationship with your family with your spouse with your children you you have to nurture those relationships if you don't spend any time with them right they're not going to be nurtured and they're not going to it's it, and it's the same thing with the culture and I heard Darren said say this we have to constantly be massaging and working on our two fit and this is just another this is an important way I think because one of the things you talked about is the stress, that all those thoughts, those 49,000 thoughts that aren't being used, and they're not useful, they're just churning in your mind, that's what creates your anxiety, your stress, right? There's a lot of stress around here with people and they get you know worked up over things. I work with people all the time on 
to get along well with each other and not to be so stressed. And so to have some tangible tools on how to do that will, will help them in their daily lives as well as their work life. Because I think that's the most important thing, right? Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's to make, it's for our own selves, but it, then it's going to be an extension, you know, just like our two fit is the things that we've learned in two fit integrity that Darren says, I loved your analogy of integrity too, but Darren's is what you do when nobody's looking yeah. is integrity, right? right? <laughs> and just to be able to, um, yeah, work on those things to make your life better, your relationships better. Mm -hmm overall, whether it's at work or at, or at home. Yeah.